Welcome to the Campbell Tech channel. My name is Sean Campbell and today I'm going to show you an example of a CQRS and event sourcing architecture. Here, the command API is responsible for handling the writes or commands and the query API responsible for handling the reads or queries. Notice the different commands that the social media post command API will be able to handle, including a new post command, which will be used to create a new social media post, an edit message command to update the message text of an existing social media post, the like post command to like a social media post, the add comment command to add a comment to an existing social media post, the edit comment command for editing a comment that was made on an existing social media post, the remove comment command for removing a comment on a social media post, and finally, the delete post command that will be used for removing a social media post altogether. The social media post query API on the other hand will be able to handle a find all posts query which will be used to return all social media posts. The find post by ID query for returning a specific post using its unique ID a find post by author query that will be used to return all social media posts by a specified author. The find posts with comments query for returning all posts that have comments. And finally, the find posts with likes query that will be used to return posts that have a certain amount of likes or more. As you can tell, our business domain is a social media post and our CQRS and event sourcing use case relates to the creation, modification, removal and querying of data that relates to social media posts. Okay, let's take a closer look at our social media post command API. You will notice a few components including an I command dispatcher interface, I command handler, I event sourcing handler, I event store, post aggregate, aggregate route, I event publisher, and I event store repository. These are interfaces and classes that you will create to facilitate the command side of our CQRS and event sourcing architecture. On the social media post query API side, notice that we have an I query dispatcher iQuery Handler, Post Entity, iPost Repository, an iEvent Handler, and an iEvent Consumer. Also notice on the command side that we have a MongoDB Event Store, also known as a Write Database, and on the query side we will have a Microsoft SQL Server Read Database. And last but not least, we will use Apache Kafka to implement our event bus. Let me explain how it will work. A client can for example make a new post command request via HTTP to the social media post command API. The command API will then, from its controller method, dispatch the new post command object via the iCommandDispatcher interface to the relevant command handler method. This command handler method will then create a new post aggregate instance that extends the aggregate route. Within the post aggregates constructor, once the new post command has been handled, it'll raise the post created event that will alter the state of the aggregate. The command handler will then pass the post aggregate instance to the event sourcing handler. That'll persist the uncommitted changes on the aggregate in the form of events via the iEventStore interface. Once completed, it'll mark the changes on the aggregate as committed. The event store, on the other hand, will be responsible for persisting the new events to the event store or write database via the iEventStore repository interface. And once an event has been successfully persisted to the event store, it'll publish a new event to Kafka through the iEventPublisher interface. On the query side, 
there will be an event consumer that subscribes to the social media post event topic. And once a new instance of the post created event is published to Kafka, it'll consume it from Kafka and then pass it to the event handler. The event handler will then be responsible for handling the post created event whereby it will construct a new instance of post entity and persist it to the read database via the iPost repository interface. Then on the RESTful query API side, a client can, for example, make a find all post query request via HTTP to the social media post query API. The query API will then, from its controller method, dispatch the find all posts query object via the iQuery dispatcher interface to the relevant query handler method. The query handler method will then handle the query and translate it into an entity framework query that will execute it against the read database via the iPost repository interface. Once it has retrieved one or more social media post records from the read database, it'll return it via the query dispatcher interface back to the controller method that will reply to the client with one or more social media posts. If you've liked this video and would like to see more of these types of videos, please subscribe to our channel and click the like button.